Hey everyone, it's Tuesdays with Travel With Me and C. And as we are all kind of confined to our homes around the world at the moment, we were hoping to bring a little bit of culture from France to your house. And what we're gonna do is we were inspired by our first book, Travel With Me and C, Paris. In the book, we talk about B having her goûter, which is the afternoon snack time for kids here in, in France. And for goûter, she has a crepe. And with this crepe, she has lots of sweet things, Nutella, bananas, it tastes really good. We're not gonna make sweet things today. Instead, we're gonna tell you about a very simple, easy, fun way to make dinner with your parents at home. And it is going to be a salty crepe. The salty crepe actually is known as a galette in the Brittany part of France and it changes the flour. We're gonna use buckwheat flour instead of regular flour. Instead of adding milk, we're gonna add water. The recipe is super simple, it's gluten-free. You get to add whatever toppings you want in there. And we just ask that maybe if you do this in your kitchen, you take a little photo and tag us online on Instagram at travelwithmeandc.kids. And we wish you a happy crepe making. Okay, let's get started with the ingredients. Most of these you will already have in your kitchen pantry. However, you will need buckwheat flour, which is a great one to have on hand. Two cups of water, make it cold, one egg, one and two third cups of buckwheat flour, one teaspoon of salt, and you'll need some butter for your cooking pan. For your toppings, use your imagination. These can be vegetarian, lots of ham and cheese like Zoe likes, cauliflower, and David likes to add an egg. Explorers, the great thing about this recipe is that this can be prepared in advance earlier in the day before dinner. So we invite you to prepare all of your measurements now and we'll get started in a minute. Okay. Hey, Explorers. We wanted to say hello from France from our kitchen and we hope that you are finding us in your kitchen as well because we have something fun for you guys to do at home. We are gonna make crepes, and they're called, how, what are they called? Galette. The galette. So these crepes are not your sugary ones, but they are for dinner. And the great thing is, is that kids can make it super easy at home, and then you guys can put whatever you want in it. Zoe, what do you like in your crepes normally, for your galette? Cheese and ham. Cheese and ham. So you sprinkle a little cheese on there later and some ham, we'll show you how to do it. All you need are these ingredients. What do we need? Salt, one teaspoon. Zoe, how do you say salt in French? Sel. Ouais. Buckwheat flour. Farine de sarrasin. Two cups of water. Water, how do you say water? Eau. De l'eau, very good. And only one egg. One egg. How do you say egg? F. F. Hmm. Um, this will make your family about six crepes, so you can adapt to the recipe as you go. Let's get started. Okay, we'll start with the flour. So let's put all the flour in the bowl. All of it. And then the salt. Zoe, go for it. Sprinkle the salt and mix. I think that's good. And then what we want to do is to divide this water into thirds and put one third at a time. Zoe, go for it. Well, I can, I can pour the water and you mix. Sounds good? Okay. So I put one third, roughly, a little bit more. Okay. Then we're going to get something like this. This is not over yet. Let's put the second third and dilute this dough. A little bit more. Okay. Go for it, Zozo. Is this a little hard? No? Good. Okay. Keep mixing. This is a good workout for your arms. Mix it. Mix, mix, mix. Until it's nice and smooth. And then we'll Put the rest of the water in. 
Okay, Zoe. Now you put the rest of the water in and I'll mix. Go ahead. Okay, and I'll keep mixing. Keep mixing. Good, thank you. That's pretty good. Thank you, Zozo. Okay. Try to air your dough by going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Then when you have a consistency that you like, something nice and smooth, you can start putting your egg in. Zoe, would you mind helping? Choose an egg, crack it in the bowl. Okay, crack it open. Fingers, your fingers through the hole. <laughs> that works, that works. Make sure, make sure there's no shell. There's one tiny. There's one little tiny shell. Okay. I'll Your hands it. are very clean, aren't they? Very, very clean. Okay, so now you can put the egg inside. Okay, add the egg. Perfect. And you keep stirring. Go ahead. Good. The egg gives a nice, very nice color to the dough. Well, the crepe dough is now ready. We will put a film over it and stick it in the fridge for about one to two hours and let it rest. And we'll rest too. Hi guys, so we're back. So our batter rested about two hours in the refrigerator. It's about ready. Now we can cook our crepes. The first one is never really good. Take your pan, get it hot, medium heat, um, a little bit of oil, vegetable oil is fine. We love our olive oil here in South of France, um, just like the rest of the Mediterranean. A little paper, paper towel, dip it in the oil and wipe off the excess here, just like that, so you don't put too much in, but get your all of your pan oiled. Okay. I'm gonna start our first crepe. Like I said, the first one is never really good. And that's just like making regular crepes. And now, let's go for the second one, hopefully better. Um, do not overcook it, just keep it a little lightly cooked because we're gonna cook it a second time, we're gonna actually fry it with the food inside of it. You see how the sides start to come up? Well, this is getting ready. Um, just try to lift lightly. If, it's still, if the crepe still sticks to the pan, it's not ready yet. So wait a few, a few more seconds, about 20 seconds maybe, and then we'll be able to flip it. Okay, Zoe, do you wanna flip it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so I'll make it easy for you. Go ahead. Take your little fingers, both of them, both hands, and flip it, lift and flip, go. There you go, perfect, perfect, that was good. That was actually very good. Thanks, Zozo. Perfect, great crepe, good job. Another 10, 15 seconds on this side, and then put it aside and do a third crepe. Okay, so now third step. We're going to fry the, the crepe. Um, just take a little bit of butter, This much is good. You can put a little more. If your butter starts to get brown, just put a, a drop of oil in it and it prevents it. Let it melt. And then you can, you can put any kind of uh, toppings, anything you like on your crepe. Um, I'm gonna show you one that I actually like. I crack an egg first, so I put my crepe in. The first time, first step. And then I like to crack an egg. Here. Crack it right on it. And then a few toppings. Zozo, so, so, so would you mind putting some ham? Um, a little more. Yep, perfect. And a little cheese, please. Yeah, use your fingers. So, so. A little more, a little more. Don't be shy. 
Ooh, that's good. Perfect. And then some cauliflower. Okay, that's good. A little more. Thank you. Be careful, it's hot. All right, now back on the stove. Let it cook. When the egg starts to cook, the, the white starts to cook, just flip the side over, okay? And let it fry a second time. Just a minute or so. When, when your, eggs, your egg is perfectly cooked, you can pull it out and serve it. Start eating. Um, okay, so now all of our toppings are on the crepe. Um, you just wait a little bit until the white starts to cook before you can flip the sides. So now, the color, I, I kind of like the color here. The, the cheese starts to melt, looks good. It's gonna keep cooking. So you can flip the sides. See how it starts to get a little brown and fry? This is good. Just flip the sides. Okay, fold them. And let it cook a little longer. Okay, so now fold it four sides. I let it cook and brown a little longer. My egg keeps cooking, my cheese keeps melting. Perfect. A little salt, a little bit of pepper to taste, and it's about ready. Okay, it's ready to be served. A little crispy. Cheese is cooked, eggs cooked. Yolk is yolky. Ready to be eaten. Okay, now second crepe. We're gonna do a kid's version of it. Zoe will choose what she likes. You just told me she likes it flipped um, in half. So you can do that too. It's a little more challenging because you have to keep your toppings on one side, but it's all right. Okay, so Zoe only likes ham and cheese. So that's what she got. We'll wait. We'll let it, let it, let it fry until we, um, the cheese starts melting. And then... Okay, voila, our buckwheat flour crepes now ready. Les crêpes bretonnes, les galettes bretonnes, exactement. Enjoy, have fun, et bon appétit.